we got for free or next to free and we turn it into home decor that we sell in our shop or in our retail store in Lehigh, Utah. The products that we're going to be using today to transform these, you can pick up at jamierayvintage.com. If you want to buy the end results, they'll be at jrvhome.com, probably by tomorrow. It usually takes us a day. Um, JRV Home is our home decor website, so we have all the home decor there and all the DIY products um, at Jamie Ray Vintage. And we're super excited because today we get to use the new molds. We are playing with the new Iron Orchid Design or IOD molds. This is the Victoria and thank you IOD. You put the name of the mold on the mold so I will be able to remember them. That's next level IOD. Good job. We're super excited to be using these. We've been waiting for them for months. I've actually known about them for the better part of six months and had to keep them a secret from you. Um, and if you did pre-order these, they are either shipping yesterday or today, like they're going out. So if you pre-ordered them, um, they're going out. If you haven't ordered them, if you guys know anything about IOD, the molds go fast. I ordered a ton in prep for this release. Um, but again, just make sure you don't hold out on that um, because you don't want to miss out on that. Also, I know I'm going to get asked. The shirt is jrvhome.com. I actually still think I have the tag. How much is it? I just <laughs> pulled it off. $18.95 with free shipping. And it comes in this plum color. And I think we have some charcoal left in medium. Um, and it goes all the way up to XL. Although I think the XL is sold out. And I would say definitely true to size. I love it because guess what? Lots of room for the holiday in the bottom. This is a small that I'm wearing. <laughs> and Caitlin will drop the link. So. There you have the little commercial. Let's get started crafting. It was a lot of commercial. Well, you know, you gotta I got to break that up. I got to get it out in the beginning because most people stop watching in the first 30 seconds. All right. Well, you know, that was like two minutes, but we've got a bunch. So they've already left is what you're telling yes. me? Yes. We've got a bunch of uh, little items. Usually Waste Not Wednesday is like, hey, we've got this completely destroyed dresser. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, but some of these are, we've got so much stuff on the back porch right now that we've been neglecting because if you follow along with the channel, we've been working on the farmhouse a lot lately and getting that ready to move into. And the back porch is like overflowing with stuff and we've got to do something with it. Otherwise it's at risk of something on your nose? fuzzy. Like a, yeah, it was like a glue boogie. Yeah, it's, I have been playing with the glue. I'm but we got to get rid of, we got to get it done and get rid of it. Otherwise it's going to go Well, more, and we more, wanted to do something somewhere else. small. We know a lot of you guys, um, because of the situation, places are like closing down again and you're working at home. So we want to give you something fun you could do with just things you have lying around. If you guys don't know about our back porch, a lot of local people will come unload cute stuff on the back porch. Um, and then we resell it here in the shop. We're not really a thrift shop, so to speak, but... We do get stuff um, given to us. Since the situation, when because, people couldn't give donations away, they started bringing them over yeah. to here. And one of our major thrift stores, you have to schedule donations. <laughs> and nobody got time for that. <laughs> who, who wants to schedule? Like, I can't even schedule doctor's appointments. Right? Jane says there's a situation someplace. I, want, I know. Odelia has to get tested for cheer today. So, so someone did this up all cute and then dropped it on the back porch. We're going to give sure it a new paint him. job. Yeah. AC. But we're going to make it uh, springy um, because everything's, we're over Christmas around here. We are all Valentine's and spring going on. Jean and Christy have been uh, plotting to reset the shop. So we've got lots of fun stuff going on there. Probably next week we'll do a shop tour and show you all the resetting that we've been doing. So I'm excited about that. All right. So first I was thinking I'm going to put some molds on these and then you're going to drying paint. and then I'll get them painting. Okay. What are you going to say on this? This is a fun little tote with a single aluminum handle. Um, not a bad paint job on it. It's okay. It's just kind of, I feel like it's a little drab. Like the colors are off for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You know what? I didn't think about that one. How about you do this one? Okay. And I'm going to make this one say love. The little so jewelry Alexis box that is, does have the does key have to it. It does have the key. So this is really cute. Okay. You brought me weathered wood. Is that what no, I've got? Prairie gray. Oh, prairie gray. Got. Can I have this little? So this is the lowercase one. I'm going to be using Harper. I need some okay. clay. And did you grab the, um, we're definitely going to need cornstarch. So when you're using these molds, make sure when they're really detailed that you use cornstarch in them. It'll help release your letters a lot easier. Um, and the easier you release them, the more they're going to hold their shape. These are also uh, oven safe up to like 400 degrees. 
So you can use these for baking. People use them for fondant, choc um, modeling chocolate, um, all kinds of baking. So they're not just for crafting. I saw a lot of pies done. A lot of pies. This last holiday season. A lot of overachievers decorating with their pie crust. I ordered mine from the local bakery. Um, <laughs> Next year I'm gonna overachieve. Oh, Diane's know. coming in a little bit to pick up her stash. Maybe I'll get to see you, we'll see. I, we have so much to do at the farmhouse. We actually decided to go live at the shop because we needed a break. I feel like we've eat, slept, breathe the farmhouse and now that we're kind of living there, we don't ever get away. Are you looking for the cornstarch, sweetie? Yeah, it's not over here. There's like two, there's, there's a huge container on that right behind those Ziplocs uh, that we got mailed to us. That's baking soda. Nope. The Clabber Girl, that's cornstarch. Oh, the Clabber Girl. I can't remember. It was a long time ago, but somebody felt sorry for us because we never had cornstarch, and so they ordered this on Amazon. I wish I remembered who it was, and they shipped us this ginormous tub of cornstarch, basically a lifetime supply. Well, it's going to get a lot of crafting going on. The Ballad of Janine says, thanks for the tip. I've been doing it wrong. Well, it's possible that you saw me do it wrong, so you can blame me. I didn't show you. It's my job to uh, educate. Well, we do things stuff. wrong so you can see how not to do it a lot of times. <laughs> All right, so cornstarch. She's going to just get some on there. Okay. Um, Chris, Donna from Crescent Moon says she's slowly putting her Christmas away. It took me about 2.3 seconds because I only decorated the front of my tree. I don't know what I'm And I had a few things on shelves. And lucky for me, I sell most of the stuff that I decorated with, so I literally just brought it back to the shop. I kept the things that I made and everything else just came back to the shop. And if I want to use it again next year, I will. If I don't, then I'll just sell it. That is, if you guys have retail spaces or booths, it's such a great thing to get rid of your old decor because what's old to you is new to somebody else. Okay, so I got this pretty, pretty well All right. cornstarch so stuff, but I want to, you want to knock out the yeah. excess you don't want to leave like it that. super powdery in there um the clay i have it right here <clears throat> i so, use our oh uh we talked about this but we officially bought out our stencil brushes so if you are a jrb stencil brush retailer and you don't retail our stencils um, make sure to hit up jrb wholesale because you can sign up to be a retailer with us and then you can retail our stencil brushes directly through us um, if you just go to jrbwholesale.com all the user agreement is right there on the front page. Yeah, we don't we don't hold anything back. You know, some some people you want to retail for, they hold all the information back. We just like post it all in there. It's pretty simple, pretty straight. But they are on the entire stock from Paint Pixie. We bought it all out. It's on its way to us. So we're super excited about that. We are working on getting a new manufacturer um, to manufacture them once we sell out of the ones that we bought from Paint Pixie. So lots of fun stuff going on around here. There's no no rest for the we weary. Is that? Mm -hmm. I was going to say weak, but weak would also be applicable. All right, so I like to just use these. IOD molds have a micro rim. It's patent pending. And if you push your finger against the rim, you can get all the excess clay off. And you do not need much um, for these letters. No. I suggest you do a little snake. I put way too snake. much on. Do a little snake, and then you can mold your snake into the... This is our shape. first time using these because they're brand new. And usually... We don't, we can't get a hold of enough to uh, use them ourselves in the first run, but they let us pre-order this, this time, and I was like, Jamie, at home back. I have the best customers in the world, so I always try to get as much product for you guys as I can. If you guys have ordered recently from JamieRayVintage.com, you probably have noticed that our shipping times have like gone way down. Most orders are shipping out within a few days, which is awesome. We have a huge, huge back stock of DIY paint because we've been stocking up. If you're so, ready to get your spring craft on, we're ready for you We too. have all the things, all the things. I know a lot of you guys, New Year's resolutions are to finish some projects you may or may not have started in 2020. Clean the garage out, you know, that's my, that's, that's my, that's my resolution every year. Can I get the garage clean enough to almost park a car in here or at least do a, uh, a project that's bigger than like this, this much space? Before the garage though, <laughs> I'd like at least one rack to hang out my clothes. I'm gonna go do, I gotta go make some website orders cause you guys are awesome and ordered a bunch of stuff, the handmade stuff on the website. And I need to go do that cause I'm behind. Carolyn, if you're watching, I'm sure Christy emailed you, but sorry, Zeb's behind. He's gonna ship your order. He's yep. gonna get it done. 
Um, but then after that, I will get you a rod in the closet so you can hang the clothes up. Yeah, we're working today's goal. So we're moving little by little because obviously we did not have time to pack. The kids all pack their own stuff because that's how I roll. I don't do things for my kids that they can do themselves. Even little Jack packed up all his own stuff. Well, and we gave him not necessarily an ultimatum, but we're like, if you haven't used this or played with it in a few months, we're going to donate it or get rid of it. Well, I just said, if you don't pack it, it's going to the, to the, it's going to charity. So put it in a box if you want it. So that's pretty good motivation for them. But today I'm working on the pantry. I moved over the fridge items yesterday. And I'm proud to say that we have an order DoorDash in a few days. I'm pretty sure they're going to call us to make sure we're still alive. <laughs> if you don't know what DoorDash is, it's like delivery service for food. All right. I like to use the back of this to like pull out my letters. So I use the pressure and I push. And because of the cornstarch, they just pop right out. So these are very detailed in true IOD fashion. These, well, those have, especially. these have like little details down in the bottom too, the bottom of the mold. It's hard to see on camera. I'm hoping that... I can pull them out of here. I'm gonna show you guys my letters. And show you. Can you guys see those? Um, and they still have a little bit of clay around the edge. I'm not super worried about, but here, let me show you. Again, so I just, and you know what? I usually will use like our Ikea mats that we use for braying, but you can also just use the packaging that th your mold comes in. So that way you have a nice surface that it won't stick to waste and it's not nice Wednesday. and clean. So waste not Wednesday, use your packaging. Okay, how's that glue situation? Hey, we have like a stick. I we needed like uh, something more delicate. So than you that. we just kept trimming it, and now it's like a huge cannon of glue. Okay, I need like a popsicle stick. So you just or just dab it right on the back of it. Oh, you I might think have to my get glue. letters are way. Don't do this with your letters. Get a smaller situation. This is gonna be interesting. Well, we had one, and we think it got unloaded at the farmhouse with all the other stuff that was getting unloaded. Can you give out me the, the needle nose pliers? Yeah. I think maybe I can use those for apples. I also have a screwdriver over here if oh, you'd like to better. try that. All right, I'll try that. All right, so we're going to scrape off the excess that I didn't get off on my micro rim. My fine motor skills are not awesome, in case anybody was wondering. Oh, that cornstarch is doing work. It's coming out detailed it and good. I'm just going to put it on here. How about that? Whoops. I'm going to have to redo my B. I, I use too many little pieces. Like Jamie said, roll it into a snake and then put it into the mold. That's your best bet. All right. L is placed. So I'm going to wipe off my excess glue. If you use a glue with a smaller spout, you will have much better look. We recommend Gorilla glue in the caulking fashion it's really rather inexpensive lasts forever this particular glue is not our favorite we've just been using yeah it we used the tight bond because like they were out of the gorilla glue last time i was at the hardware store and i it's okay i just have it it, it holds really well it's just the Doesn't application is not as easy well and then our case we kept like having to poke off the end so i'm just gonna just write it out here and then i'll i'll make do that's that's the name of the game here right you make do with what you got all right let me let's make sure this o is like correct let me show you this h see if we can get it up close enough that you can see the detail on it so it's got like it's like a rope in the middle here it's got all kinds of detail on the sides and texture and I've got a couple little extra pieces of clay, but... You don't heat dry the clay? Nope, you don't need to heat dry this clay. This is air dry clay. Um, very, yeah. very user friendly. You could also, if you wanted to do a bunch of projects, this would be something you could totally do with the casting resin that we sell. Um, I think it would dry pretty fast because they're pretty small. Are you hogging the glue? I'm no, I, I, I already, I plopped out some glue right here on my package and I'm not hogging it. I'm gonna do the same thing. You're using my method? Yeah, it looks like it's working. It seems to be working okay. I'm trying not to, my hands are not super detail oriented. Most of you guys know, but I have arthritis and neuropathy and the farmhouse was not easy on my hands. So I'm recovering from um, some damage done, not damage, but just overuse of my hands. I do have to say I slept five hours in a row last night without waking up with pain shooting from my elbow. So it's 
pretty good. Pretty excited about that one. All right. You want to make sure when you're doing your molds that you put plenty of glue because they will pull up around the edges. Um, and if I don't get enough glue, you know what I do? I shove paint I under the edge. Your situation. Oh, that's Odelia. I need to. Odelia is getting tested. Because she's in cheer. Because she's in cheer and they test them every other week right now. Donna says after painting her kitchen, her joints are a mess. Yeah, it just happens. It's one of those things, you know, you got to keep moving. But then it's nice to recover a little bit. I see some massage and physical therapy, maybe some chiropractic in my future. Zeb and I have been talking a lot about this year. <laughs> We're going to give you the, the back end. We're going to get back in fun. shape. Yeah. Because, you know, like... I'm, I'm plenty strong from doing all the building, but I also feel a little broken just from well, overexerting and tiredness and, you know, too many, too many long days in a row. Too much DoorDash. Yeah, that too. I had the opposite problem. I just didn't ever take time to eat. So I need to gain some weight so I can fit back into my pants because I know it's not like here to stay. So I'm like, might as well get back to my normal. <laughs> May as, may as well enjoy those cookies. Yeah, may as well enjoy those cookies. All right, so that says love. Can you pass me the mold that oh. has the heart? It's the fleur de lis mold. All right, I'm gonna, oh, that is like, it, it's slowly trickling down. It's like. Is it sliding? Yeah, it's all right. I got this. Um, let me see if I can find it. Hang on. I've got to get mine situated on here without mushing too much. All right, mine says love. If you let them dry, you don't have to worry about mushing them because we're live on camera. We usually do things a little faster than we normally would well, so you that we can show wet. you an end result. You glue them wet. You don't, you don't let them dry before you glue them. But you also usually don't have to apply your glue with a... One of the best right methods right. if you want to maintain detail and be able to work with it is to freeze them. Yeah, but you want to make them room temperature before you glue them. Can you pass me the mold, sweetie? I can't reach that far. Celebrex. You know what? If I, I have told myself that I am not taking any meds unless I completely get off sugar because I know that's an inflammatory. And, and, and I have carbonated met, drinks. Yeah, I don't normally drink soda the last few weeks I have, so I've got to like detox from soda. Carbonation is really bad for your joints. Where is my... Come on. I want a heart. Take all the luck. Take all the luck. I just wonder if I put it somewhere else. My nose is ready. It's not in here. Um, there were a couple over there still, I think. All right, let me scooch past. But they, I think they were the Christmas ones. All right. Where did you say you saw them? Just on the shelf there with the rest of them. Oh, nope, the heart one is right up front. Right up front and center and ready for you. I'm waiting. Also, a brand, we have a brand new uh, Bows of Holly that we didn't use. Yep. Did we never use that one? We never got around to doing as many Christmas crafts as we wanted to. We're a little busy. Alright. I found it. This is Fleur de Lis. It has a heart on it. And a bunny and a rooster, I think. It's French country is the theme on that one. Sorry, that was a little loud. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna redo the B. It's broken into like three pieces because I didn't do one continuous piece. I used like a lot of little ends and it needs some more love. What is that gonna say? Her herbs. Oh, I was like, it says her. Her, she kisses. Herb. Oh, that'll be cute. All right, I'm gonna make the little, there's different sized hearts on this. I actually never noticed this before. So I think I'm gonna do the little teeny tiny heart actually. I think it'd be so cute to just put it like right there. The nice oh, thing is, not Fleur de Lis. Delis. 
here in America, we're called Florida Wings. The size know. of the letters, um, the the smaller, the lowercase letters are probably like an inch, except for the L probably looks to be like an inch and a half. Yeah, inch and a quarter and on this, inch and a half, somewhere in there. I could measure, there's a measuring tape right, or... There's, there's a, a yardstick. There's a yardstick, that's what I'm looking it's for. It's underneath something, so I have to wait a minute. Alright. It's underneath that giant thing of molds that I just threw down there. This, our clay's a little dry because I didn't zip it up really well. Okay, look, look at this little baby heart. It's so cute. I want to make it more heart shaped though. It's like, it needs a... So you're getting rid of the hearts, but you're adding hearts. I'm adding new hearts, okay? Don't judge me. Don't judge my heart choice. My box, my choice. There we go. That's right. better. Now I can get some glue on that. I'm going to put the glue on the back of this heart because this heart is a little bit less delicate than those letters. So the screwdriver uh, schmear method here is working really well. <laughs> the screwdriver schmear. <laughs> With the glue. You just, I, we got a dab of glue over here. If your glue is as in bad a shape as ours was. Oh, yeah. The, the glue had a situation. All right, I'm going to try to mush this down. There's a lot of glue under this heart. Okay. All right, there we go. I think it needs to go over a little. Okay, mine says love, and it's off-centered, intentionally. Okay, I need, can I have the petticoat pink? Yeah, I'll think about it. Thanks. All right, there you go. Oh, I got it open the first time around. Look at you, <laughs> opening your own jar. I do what I can, I do what I can. So I'm gonna be using this DIY I don't even know which this one is called. It's uh, like the French round, the, except the for insider? it's synthetic. Oh, the insider. It's for details. That's right. You need me to check my phone for registering for testing. Uh, do you need me to forward it to you? I'll forward it to you, Adelia. <laughs> Copy link. I did not get an email, Odelia, but here's the link. All right, if you need me to do anything more than that, Odelia, you're on your, you're out of luck for 30 more minutes. Okay, back to YouTube. All right, I'm about ready to start painting mine. Are you Jenna painting yours? Jenna sent me the link. All right, what did you say? I'm almost ready to paint mine. Okay, what It's going to look a little busy just because it's got... I like a little, little brush. Is there a... Oh, I think all my turquoise Irish brushes are at the... You did. You took them home. Well, th this is going to be interesting. Because a little artist brush would just be perfect about that. I feel like it's okay if they've got a little bit of, uh, we'll call it fluidity, because this has a lot of motion. You need me to fill out the link? Well, you're going to have to wait, sister. I'm live. I sent you the link. Fill it out. Pretend you're me. So you can kind of see it there once I paint it and probably wax it, it'll really show up. Or let me get paint on this, Odelia, and then I'll fill it out. Are you even talking to her or are you just talking to yourself? No, she's talking. She's oh, talking she's on the video? She's on the video. You're going to have like... to wait. They're going to have to wait for you. <laughs> I was like, who are you talking to? If people send me emails, you also have to send me a text that says, I sent you an email. For, I don't think my... 82,000 emails are like, it's, I think it might be over 100,000. Well, you actually, gave me this prairie gray, but I don't think I want to paint this prairie gray. I think no. I'm going to go with an apothecary. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I wouldn't go prairie gray. That's kind of blah. Oh my gosh, these letters are so stinking cute. All right. I'm just using this artist brush to get down into the details of my letters. That's... Except I there. think you took the apothecary yeah. to the farmhouse. Apothecary you, I brought out. It's right here in front of me. You didn't do the stairs. Right there. Oh, you got it. I do to do. It's in front of you. Whoops. It reminds me of Michelle from Full House. You got it, dude. What is what Dilly says? Is the baby needs you. I know. She does need me. But I'm going to finish painting this. She can wait. For two seconds. She'll be all right. She's not having any emergencies. Can Caitlin fill it out, Odelia? <laughs> just kidding. All right. I'm just going to get this first coat drying here and then I'll fill it out because we got a minute. I'm going to show this to you guys. It's so cute. Oh, that 
Apothecary goes on so good. Okay, this is really shiny, so my paint's a little streaky, but look how cute that is. I'll add some wax in there. So I'm just gonna daub a ton of paint on mine because I don't want to mush my fresh glue and molds. And then I'll smooth it out in a second. But it also helps to get the paint up under if you've got like a little lip on your mold and then it looks like it's been there forever. And it also helps it stick down real good too. Oh, Delia, I need you to text me your student ID. I love that we're communicating through YouTube on a live video. <laughs> She's taking advantage of all of her resources. Hey, my kids are resourceful. But he's like, oh, I can't get a hold of mom. She's live. I'll just t talk to her in the live chat. It's asking me my birthday. I always have to think because my birthday is opposite Harrington's, Harrington's birthday. And I was born in 82 and he was born in 02. So it's real confusing. Not Hispanic that I know of. I'm pretty sure I'm mostly white. Just free address. All right, just pulling some of that paint back off of here so that we don't lose all the detail because the DIY paint is clay-based and thick. Do you, do you, you can wash this little artist brush that helped for me. I went through all the letters and cleaned out all the clay paint. I'm gonna have to paint the inside of this. Yeah, but not today. No, I'll probably get it right now. Okay, and the inside actually looks fine, I think. Well, I got some over the lip, but I'm not gonna oh. worry about being too neat. Oh, well, you know what you can do when it dries, you just clean it off the lip because it washes That's off. It's okay, I'm gonna paint the inside. Okay, you do you. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'll be right back to comments. Please provide the email. Okay, there we go, confirm email address. Let's Mom, see. Mom oh, stuff in are the you, live Here's a question, are you pregnant? Don't think so. Yes, it's the first time. Are you employed by healthcare? No. Is that for you or no, questions for Odelia? For Odelia, no. No. Do you? Are you a resident in a Do we no. need to talk about some stuff? Do you have diabetes? No. Do you have obesity? No. No asthma. So many questions. They should have one that says, are you in good health with no issues? And then you could just check that. All right, let's see if she texts me her. Odelia, I need your student ID. And then we can be done. Okay. Any minute now, Julia. She's she's stopped watching. She's given up. Just actually message her. Okay. <laughs> since, since you're conducting business anyway. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sometimes your kids come and they're important. All right. I'll go back to comments while I wait for her to text me. I'm using petticoat pink guys in case you're wondering the thing about DIY paint like this is super shiny and it'll stick to it just fine but when I do the second coat I'm gonna need to be careful because the for it because the underneath was so shiny and the paint has water in it and the paints water soluble you've got to be light-handed because you don't want to pull off the first coat I'm always pretty quick and light-handed so I never really think about it but Man, I, I am loving these letters I might have to use these on just about everything I've been, I've been like in my mind planning how I'm going to decorate with them. A consent for my minor child, submit. Let's see. It's processing. Okay. Done, Odelia. I love smartphones. I don't think I could run my life without one. No, it would make things very difficult. I'd have to plan ahead. You, you would have to be packing around like a laptop. Um, is there ever any, like, do you guys ever have people that are like, oh, you have to print that out. I'm like, what do you mean? I can't just fill it out on my phone. You want me to print something out? Like, then I have to go to the office or now the Zeb's editing um, desk is going to be right outside our bedroom. But at home before, it used to be in the basement. I'm like, I mean, I have to go down to the basement and print out a piece of paper? Um, Jane, I used weathered wood full strength on my stairs. It, they turned out amazing and they have held up to so much abuse. Zeb was like pulling 
the dolly with the washer and dryer up the stairs over my weathered wood and white wax stairs and it's been fine yep doesn't care it is getting a little bit of wear as it like as it uh cures up but down the center the better um down the center of the stairs but that's that's like the intended purpose of it like that's yeah. what we want now that I kind of know what I'm doing with it, I'll do a tutorial with our basement stairs so you guys can watch it. But really, it's the same concept as always when we weathered wood and white wax. Like I chucked a bunch of weathered wood on there, then I put some white wax, and then I sanded it. And actually, no, I sanded it, then I white waxed. I actually sanded it before it was all the way dry. Yeah. So I was in a hurry. So I'm like, you're going to smear that. She's like, it'll be fine. The stairs are going to get walked on. And my secret and it was fine. is I used a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of white wax. And Zeb rubbed it back as much as possible. And then I went over it with a really fine sandpaper, like 400 something on my orbital. And I polished the clay and the wax and they're squeaky now. <laughs> squeaky meaning like the, when you... they, they, they're squeaky clean. So I will clean up the handle on this and bring back the aluminum. It'll probably get distressed. We'll bring that lower uh, layer of paint that was already on there back that first layer and then distress the bottom because I painted it and then I set it down and it's got other paint stuff. But I really, really like how that's raised. And you could even two-tone this if you planned ahead and had more time than in a live video. You could have, I could have done like a prairie gray on just the letters and then apothecary over and then rub that back and I would have got the prairie gray. But I think I'll do maybe a dark wax. You could just dry wax. brush over the top too. I might do a dark wax too on that and see what that looks like when it's all done. Do we have so, a heat gun here? Yeah, it's right down there. All right. Oh, it's over there. Can you grab it? Um, no, it's closer to you. No, I can't grab. I can't. Like, I um, will knock over forty-two things. You'll knock over forty-two things and get paint on your. And new also, shirt. my right hand is mostly numb, so okay. I'll if grab you it. could just grab it, so I don't make a wallowing mess on live TV. I don't know why I never, where's our lazy Susan? It's in here somewhere. Today would be a good day for that. Is that plugged in? Oh, it's plugged there? in. So okay. I'll just, I'll just pass it to you. Did you want me to use it? Oh, I thought you were going to use it. No, I was handing it to you, but I'll use it. I'm not done. Um, my mom and dad are good. They don't. They're not good at moving. They're, well, I mean, they're 80 years old, and they <laughs> like things the way they like it, so we've had to be like, okay, it's just going to be a minute, and we'll get this taken care of. It's like, you know, we have four kids, and then we have them that we got to make sure they're settled, because they like things to be comfortable. I ordered some curtains for my mom's bedroom that are room darkening. She, she agreed to try that before we did the roller shades. If that doesn't work, then we'll add roller shades, too. Well, right now they've got... Uh craft paper up in the window. Oh! They taped it I up. I didn't know they'd gotten that done. Yeah. It's winter time, so the sun doesn't come up, especially early, and it goes down early, so the sun isn't bothering me, because I'm up by the time it gets up in the ways. But we are working on getting food instead. All right, first coat done. This box will probably be like $16.95 when it's all done, you can email Caitlin. It's not up on the website yet, but we'll send you the link once it's finished. Marcia says she likes the way I communicate with Odelia over YouTube. Um, <laughs> I love the way you communicate. She says, it makes me feel like I'm sitting across the table from you. Can I have that? I've got to do this. Even after we dry the paint, the molds are still going to be a little bit wet, the clay is, so we have to be really delicate and not push super hard till they dry. It takes a couple hours for the clay to dry. Zeb, Jane wants to know if that's a skipping basket. It's not quite big enough, but I, I feel like you fling it too much. You fling, yeah, it's got some fling. Beth says, Beth says she wants to know if we can bring her molds to California today. Probably not today. We'll get them out to you. Shipping is relatively fast, California. I can't, I don't make any claims for the shipping companies because man alive, they are having struggles these days. It doesn't matter if it's UPS or USPS. They're just trying to survive everybody ordering Where's everything. Where's the decrepit dust? 
What? What is the decrepit dust over here? Your guess is as good as is mine. Right over at the farmhouse too? Um, no. I think it might be. You can go grab some off the shelf. Nah. Nah. Well, the thing with decrepit dust is you have to work it in there, and these molds aren't dry, so I wouldn't suggest using it. Yeah, I'm going to just go with some black wax. Some DIY black wax here. I'm just gonna... I want to give this a lot of texture, I think, so I'm going to do a little... And I'm just, I'm not going to seal it first, but I'm just going to go hit the letters. Because I want to make it look like old worldy. And then I'll wax the whole top of it to do a little distress and some waxing. That'll, that'll be good. I'm just going to do the top on this video and then we'll do the rest later. I thought we were going to get a bunch of projects done, but I'm going to be lucky to just get this box done. It always happens when you're using a product for the first time. You're like, oh, how do I want to lay this out? What do I want to do? Yeah, I got it. Although if you get that done and you need to wait for something to dry, I think this little letterbox situation yeah, that box would be is good. Cool. I was gonna just put. Um, I had a. I, I had something I was gonna say on there and I forgot. The other reason I'm doing texture on this is because there were hand painted hearts underneath it, and I don't want to be able to see them. So lots of textured paint is good. Let's see. Now I need. So I just have, it's a little messy. I'm gonna come back with clear wax right now, but I'm gonna give it a, just a light distress first around these edges. Just a little light situation. Do we have a paper towel, Zeb? I could do a white wash over this, that'd be cool. Um, let me go look. Oh! Almost wore that paint. I slipped on the ice the other day and landed on my left elbow. And then I slipped on the ice and landed on my right elbow. But the left elbow definitely took the bigger hit. If you do use a heat gun, which I don't recommend, we just do it because we're in a hurry, but you will get crackle in your paint. So just know that. Because clay cracks as it dries, especially when it dries super fast. Did you need a damp paper towel or a regular paper towel? Um, a damp is fine. I was going to do a white wash. There you go. Do we have white awesome. paint? Um, not out. I'm just gonna wet distress these edges. All right. Do we have white wax? Mm. Yeah, it's right there. Jane says it took me 11 months to get my new sofa. The recliner is still somewhere. I, you know, we have the sofa and chair that we sell um, that's at our house. I think they take like three or four months to come in, so I don't feel so bad about that now. <laughs> our, I ordered a buffet yesterday. And it's not coming until the middle of March. Oh, that's not going to get me very far. It does get you started. Okay. I did get some new rugs that we're going to be selling. I always like to order the stuff first just to make sure I like the quality. If you want to see what the new rugs look like, you can go in my Instagram and Facebook stories and see them in there. As soon as I know they're shipping, then I'll go ahead and put them up on the home decor website. Okay, now, all right, so I got a little bit of distress on the edges here, just like I like. I'll take a, when it's all done, I'll take a damp cloth and clean up this handle some. Well, I'm, I'm getting melty white wax because this is so hot. Yeah, I think mine's cooled off. You could also use dark wax on this, but I wanted a softer look. And this wax brush is tough. It hasn't been washed in about a month of Sundays. It's all right. We're due to do some major cleaning. Spring cleaning is coming. Now the gals at the shop have just been like holding down the fort. They've been, they, they usually will tell me like every day, like all the random stuff that happens, but they've been holding it back because they know that I've been busy and they didn't want to stress me out. So they've just been handling whatever comes. And this morning I got some wild stories. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, so this pretty fresh, hasn't cured, just wet distress around the edges a little bit, and this is clear wax. And I'm just gonna put that right there over the top because I didn't, I wasn't super neat with it. And I'm gonna get a little bit of this dark wax on the clear wax brush, but we'll wash it out. If you have two brushes for the application, that's what I'd recommend. Do you have, can you pass me that stencil brush? I'm gonna pull some of this white wax. I have to be so, so delicate with this one, clay. Which one? This one? Yeah, I'm just going to pull the white wax off with that stencil brush. Okay. I need more wax. 
you're right, this was plenty of white wax for the top of this. I'll show you this in a second, guys. Well, it's not a stair treads. <laughs> I, think, yeah. I think you were like, oh. I used an entire tub of white wax. Just so to give you an idea of how much it took. So it took one and a half quarts to do all my stairs with paint and an entire tub of wax. But it really, it, it went the distance. And I may, I need to go back with a small wax brush and get all the cracks and corners. It was like 2 a.m. in a fit of rage because the appraiser had told us that we had to, the, to uh, finish the floors. Although that appraiser didn't even wind up coming. It was a different appraiser. And I was like, nobody tells Jamie what to do. I wanted to let them wear naturally. So I'm like, I'll show them. I'm going to do the coolest faux finish on my stairs ever. So I'm just taking that same brush with the clear and a little bit of that black wax and just adding it onto the whole thing to kind of give it a uniform bit of age. Oh my gosh, this stencil brush is so much better for this detail. <laughs> Definitely if you're doing letters and you want to wax them, I highly suggest you just go straight to the stencil brush. All right, so here's my, sorry, it's a little wet on the side. Here's my love. Look how cute that is. And I did texture on the paint, so all the white wax just goes down in the texture. And I'll do that same, um, technique to the whole thing so that way we've got lots of it and if you're using like a thinner paint you're not going to get the texture you can you can add salt wash if your paint's thinner that's another product that we carry but the diy paint if you just want a light texture you don't really have to have the salt wash you just kind of stipple it on there or just leave the lid off your paint for a while it'll get it'll get thicker if you ever have paint that gets too thick you can add water to it i've reconstituted paint that i would have thought was way too far gone Okay, so we'll let that sit. I will paint the bottom of this because it's going to be really messy. I don't even know what you right guys could see. I never looked at the camera, so hopefully I wasn't just like randomly holding that up there. Hopefully you got to see what I was doing. Um... Oh, my parents aren't worried about privacy. Nobody looks into their room like they're... They, they face the uh, They're worried about light. Light, like... So that the curtains will help with the light. They're not yeah. worried about privacy. No. Nah. There's like a big tree and behind them. We'll and have we, curtains on there in a day or two anyway. Yeah. And then the other side of them is the neighbor's garage. That so they're really, unless somebody is walking past their window, ain't nobody seeing it. I don't know if the light's picking that up good enough. And I'll, I'll distress the bottom and wax that too once it's all dried up and I can set it on its side. Okay. So I think I will take this brush. I'm like being so delicate because this some of this paint. There's messy. a lot of wax in there. I just want to get it out before it hardens. Oh, I was gonna say you could use this, but you'd have to. No, that that did the trick. Okay. That did what I needed it to do. Okay. Um. Do we have and the farm, people, somebody said you might be happy. You're probably happy the farmhouse is done. Yeah, ironically, the farmhouse is not all the way done. So it's, it's livable. Just done enough. It's livable. It's livable. Um, but there's little pieces. I've got in every so room. much stuff to do, and you go down into the basement, and we call it the dungeon. It's like bare walls where we ripped out the plaster and concrete right now. Yeah. So we got <laughs> we got projects for days. There, every single corner needs stuff done. We need to get the hardware on the kids' buffet so they can put away their but like bathroom stuff. For the appraised value that we needed to get for our loan to get the percentage rate that we wanted. Um, we did not have to have the basement done, so we, we didn't. <laughs> told me, like, we ain't finishing the basement. That's going to be a theater room, and theater rooms aren't necessary for life. No, and storage. I think I'm going to make the and back storage. end of it storage. Yeah, we'll do storage and a theater. All right, next. We've got this platter. I almost want to do something around the edges of this so that you could still use the center to do something. I don't know. You have 12 minutes. Only 12? Yeah. Can you do this one instead? That's 16 minutes. Oh, 16 oh minutes. that one. Okay, yeah, I can do this one. All right. So this is just like a organizer, desk organizer. Um, it's got a fun shape on it. I think... Hmm. All right, weigh in real quick. What do we want to see here? It's got to fit in this little plaque, so about four or five letters. Stuff. Stuff. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go get something to pull the rest of that sticker off while you're while you guys are weighing in. I'll come back and read the comments in just a second. Junk office stuff. You put junk. That would be good. I do like junk. I think that's the winner. Who said junk? How about junk with a heart? Because we love junk. Though. Oh, okay. Do you have the hearts I out? I do have available? the hearts still out. Let me just finish my stippling here for texture. Stickers on furniture are the worst. I know. I say that and we just let the boys, we got some lockers from Ikea to kind of hold their stuff and organize their closet until I can get it built out. And they might stay there because they fit perfect side by side in the closet. So it looks intentional. Like I, I made the like closet actually fit them. Um, but the, uh, they got stickers all over those lockers. I love them. They asked me, they said, mom, can we put stickers on our locker? I was like, heck yeah, that'd be fun. They have all these stickers I got them, I think for, is it Easter last year? Yeah. And they've been, I don't let them put stickers on furniture or walls. So it was like a big thing. It's I'm a gonna, big deal for them. They were I'm like, what? You said yes? <laughs> I know, they were super excited. So they have Star Wars stickers all over their lockers. Okay, so we're going with junk with a heart. Oh, do you need the heart mold that's over there? Uh, not yet. I do need the cornstarch, though. I'm going to have to go a little hard. Here's the giant bucket of cornstarch. That is awesome. It's a lifetime supply. Junk with a Q is good, but J-U-N-K is uh, the way our shirts, we have shirts that say I love junk, so I feel like that's good. And if you guys are resellers, organizers like this sell super good because everybody's in the organizing mode. I'm going to be using I was eyeballing it for myself. I'm like, I'm going to have that desk. I'm going to pick that desk up this morning. Yep. I'm going to, oh, the desk that's been on the back porch for forever. Yep. Um, I'm going to use our French canning jars that we sell on the home website to organize my pantry, but to also to organize my spa supplies because I have a big soaker tub. And I put uh, Epsom salt in one jar, and I'm going to put one jar just full of bath bombs. Yeah, that would be a great organizer for brushes. Oh, yeah. Or, like, colored pencils. I'm going to this, to do so one. this mold has three parts on it. I'm going to do the medium one. Yeah, I use the... the small one. We like to call it medium meaty ham. I don't know where that comes That's from. That's my fault. I do it. I don't, I don't know what the meaty ham is. It doesn't mean anything. You just, it's fun to say. Okay, so from previous experience, all one piece, and then you mush it down in. And then use that micro rim to just get the good shape in there. I got a chip of another color. We really need to like sand this table flush and then seal it. It needs new fun. legs or something. Like we might be able to save the tabletop, but the legs gotta go. I got my list is long of things that I've needed to do over the last like year, 17 months, however long it was. They love the piece you just did, the herbs one. That one's cute. Oh, yeah, this one? I'll show it again. We'll leave it up front so you guys can see it. Yeah, that's cute. I don't know where to put it. You got a little black wax on the back. It's a finger smudge. There's a finger smudge on the back. We'll fix it. It takes a little bit longer to uh, dry this when you do it so thick. It's not very often that you finish before me. Well, and I was chasing stuff. I think you went I, a little extra with the texture there. I think a little extra that I went online and registered Odelia for her. Yeah, there test. was that. There was the register. <laughs> the 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 fifteen year old distracted us. It's crazy. So this year, Odelia gets her driver's license. Eliza is going to go to middle school, and she just got into what we call Young Women's. It's the youth organization for the girls at church. The year they turn 12, they move up. Jack is going to be turning seven. Yeah, they move up seven, out of primary. And Redrick's going to be in double digits. And we're also, we're also celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary oh, in August. <laughs> also 
of that. So it's a big year at the Ray House, and it's, you know, my kids are at that age now where things are just like rapid firing. Like Harrington became an adult, and now there's this domino effect of all the kids. And I feel like when kids go from six to seven, they're like, they're not a little baby anymore. They're like big kids. Well, they read real well. They can do most of the math. They can tie all their shoes. I think Redrick started cooking himself quesadillas when he was seven. Well, on, the, on the stove. <laughs> Jack can't tie his shoes, but he can read chapter books. Redrick was getting rid of some books when he was like, oh, I don't need these books anymore. I've already read a million times. And so what if Jack wants him? He's like, he can't read chapter books. And I said, watch him. And Jack opens a Star Wars chapter book that's not even necessarily a kid's book. And he's like, da -da 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 -da. it's about Count Dooku. And he was just like, see, Jack can read chapter books. Okay, I'm going to pull these letters out. We do the, the roll method. The roll. Make the mold work for you. Roll it, you roll it out the of there. Because if you dig them out, you're going to lose all your details. So roll them out. I feel like that love needed more. More love. I have, so the Ballad of Janine says, I have many clear glass, tall, round shaped bases in different heights. What can I do with them? You can totally paint glass. We actually have a video. Um, it was a live video, actually. I think maybe it would have maybe yeah. been a Wednesday. Okay. And it's and how DIY to paint. paint glass. And we totally painted glass. You can use molds on them. You can make them look like, we have some stamps that are like a marmalade. You can take and put clay on the glass and then imprint the stamp and then paint it and make it look cool. Or, you, could, or you can also just stamp it. I, With I'm, the, a, I'm a big fan of just stamping them. Now that we're getting into like fresh flower season where people are cutting flowers, bases oh, yeah. usually bases sell huge. really well. Bases, planters. Good time I mean, let's be honest. We're still a couple months out from lots of like that type of stuff. It's January. But you know, January is a fun month. It looks back at the last year and looks forward to the new year, right? I start ordering uh, flowers in about this time of year because I'm super done. And you can also force, if you guys haven't done so, you can Ooh, order paper right whites or bulbs and you can force bulbs and have them inside if you want fresh flowers Your inside. mom grew an awesome bulb in the kitchen Amarillus, window. Amaryllis, yeah. I actually need to order some bulbs because I have some iron stone that I want to force some bulbs in. All right, so you guys are going to miss the glue application, but you'll get to see me do this up here. Well, putting on glue is super yeah, exciting. It's, 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 I mean, you saw it once, so I think you think you're good. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'll wipe back this white wax, and then when it's completely dry, I'll go ahead and paint and wax the bottom so that way it's one continuous look. And then I will open up this lid when it's completely dry. And we will clean off the edge of the lid if any of that paint seeped under, and I'm not painting the inside. We get asked about that a lot. Um, but we just clean off the edge and make it look neat. Yep. This little, Quick little sanding. is so much easier. I That's even textured the hinges. See the back? If you guys, when we went, I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about when we went to France, but it's like the literally the last cool thing that we went to. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, well, we did it last October, so it's been a little over a year, I guess two Octobers ago, not last October. Yeah. Um, but then we just hunkered down and like work, work, work on the house. And didn't so, do anything else for, <laughs> for over a year. When we went to France, like all the old stuff had like built up crusty texture. And so when I want to make something look like not especially brand new, that's what I do. Do you have some of that dark wax? I think I am going to add some dark wax to these in a few spots. Mm. The this white is wax, dark or black, one of the two. The white wax makes it look oxidized. That is brown, I think. So dark wax, dark. not black. Yeah. I wish they'd just call it brown wax. Black wax instead of dark and black, but... So I like to use the two. I use dark and white intermixing because it kind of highlights stuff differently but I'm careful not to put too much because you don't want it to look like well you just don't want to look like Jack touched it after he didn't wash his hands very good I'll just leave it at that Jack loves sweets and he's always got he hides chocolate 
I don't know why he hides treats. We have so many treats at the house. There's no need. Like to he hides them. I so it's almost embarrassing. I we moved the couch over that's been in the basement, and you know the grandma's been home and the girls have been home, but no one's really been closely monitoring what Jack eats in the basement. And we have a you're only supposed to eat in the kitchen or dining room rule, and he has been breaking it. There was a lot of snacks underneath that couch. Oh, Jack. We're having to retrain the kids. Like you've been raising yourself for the last 17 months till we're coming, mom and dad are coming back. All right, I'll show you guys this. See how the, that just adds texture to that. Look how messy the bottom is. That's why I'm gonna paint that. Don't worry. That's what happens when you just smear it around. I'm just gonna go kind of along the crack where the box meets up. And I did over the hinges. And I'll go around the edge, just kind of highlight that and add some. I may have to go with the small heart. I'm running out of room. Well, you know, we got hearts of all sizes, so that's good. Debbie says she loves it. She had the same box from her high school graduation 50 years ago. This one still has the key. That's what you hear dangling around in there. I think that Sue dropped this off. She dropped off quite a bit of stuff. I'm gonna definitely black wax around the keyhole because that's where it would actually age over time. And my rag is slightly damp, so that really helps to naturally blend my wax into the paint. Can you see that? your upcycle here and it still needs to be buffed it'll look even better when it's buffed but we'll let it sit for an entire day and we'll come back and really buff it to a little bit of a sheen yeah we're gonna have to go small heart that big heart's just too crowded right there but I'm gonna use the same clay and if I hadn't already white waxed this I probably would have clear waxed it first and I may tomorrow come back and clear wax it but there's my box I think it turned out pretty good and when we like i said when we come back and polish this it's really gonna look good it's gonna be good there's an even smaller one than this oh no i used the big heart no there's four hearts on this but i i, I used the second to the largest oh heart yeah originally. the little baby hearts right there yeah i might i don't think i need that one this one's gonna work great what I love about these letters, guys, is when you're thinking about investing in craft supplies, I like things that are versatile. So letter stencils, the letter stamps, and now the letter molds, you really can take just the letters and take different colors of paint and do different things seasonally without having to buy the entire IOD line because you really can make it different for each season just by spelling out different words. So a really bang for your buck situation with these molds. Okay, now I'm gonna paint this. You're gonna paint it? What color should we paint this? So I think prairie gray would be appropriate on that. Prairie gray. Uh-huh. I'm going for it. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Here, can you put the lid on this? I sure can. Thank you. How much is a love box? Um, $16.95, but I think Deb might have already emailed Caitlin to claim it. So this one, I'm gonna not paint the inside. We're gonna go. All right, where's the heat gun? I'm gonna heat gun that because it's really slick, so it's going to take two coats. Yeah, I don't think you need to paint the inside on that. And painting the inside of cubbies, unless you're spraying it with a spray gun, paint in the derriere. Because well, get down in the corners. And then you got to wax and seal oh, in there. And... Caitlin says Debbie did email her, so she's going to invoice her. Thanks, Caitlin. That one's on top of it. Oops. The end got away from me. So my, so subsequently, Zeb and I's 20th graduation, was 20 year, was last, last year, year, right after, like, the We situation. did not have any 20 year graduation festivities. There was none. 20 year graduation anniversary, whatever you call it. Yeah. My son graduated exactly 20 years after Zeb and I. <laughs> FHTS, farmhouse trauma syndrome. True that. It's happening. 
But all the little stuff, you know, it'll be a couple weeks. Jamie wants it all done tomorrow, but it'll be a couple weeks. Um, pull it out of that little spot right there. It's been kind of cool in that little. It had a bubble. All right, let me dry this real quick, and then you can second coat it so we can wax it. That looks so dang cute. Yeah, the raised letters are next level. They're really adding like a, like we're from a high-end craft shop or something. I see them on spaghetti jars. Oh yeah. You could totally make that them with spaghetti cool. jars. All right, I think. You can start painting on that side. Debbie says her and Carolyn graduated the same school in 1970 and they're still besties. That's super nice. fun. Seb and I graduated together and we're still besties. I mean, he graduated from a different school, but it was close to mine. Yeah. Went to prom together. We found our prom picture when we moved. If I can find it again, I was like, where oh, did I, put that? I always think Harrington looks a lot like Jamie and Jamie's he has dad. Seb's jaw and I'm like, oh, he is my kid. He looks a lot no, like me when I was that age. Seb is using prairie gray, not letterpress. I pulled it. I, it's, a, it's a gray. Shape. All right, it's starting to pull, so I right. need you to. Prairie I think gray, the middle's okay. Prairie gray is like a grayish brown color. Yeah. It's Here, like, I'll show you the lid. You can see it kind of drying and kind of wet on the lid. It's the sister to weathered wood. So weathered wood is darker and prairie gray is lighter, but they're the same gray brown family. Hi says stretch out the farmhouse reveal. Oh, it'll stretch out because it ain't all gonna be finished. We're gonna do so we've got a ton of footage from the last month of like DIY stuff. And we're gonna work that into the last reveal. It'll probably be like a 20, 30 minute video. And then we'll have one that's faster, like a time-lapse, fun time-lapse type video. So you can see kind of the culmination of all the stuff. I'm going to go back and get all my old footage. All right, you can wax it now. But that's going to take a little bit to put together. I definitely suggest white wax. It's going to give you the best contrast. Okay. And I would use my little brush situation. All right, can you hit that one more time? I sure can. I think I'm just going to white wax the plaque area in there. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll white wax the rest later, but... All right, that's good. You don't want to get it too hot. Today's purposes. Oh, yeah, you're melting the wax right on there. It's all right, because you can just wipe it It'll right off. It'll be good on. and sealed. Prairie Gray is really earthy. And very, very French country with white wax. Oh, it's steaming. Yep. <laughs> it's hot. And olive green. Yes. Aviary is really close to olive green. If you add um, a little bit of prairie gray or weathered wood to it, you can get it more in the brown tones, but start with aviary and then go from there and then add the brown tones until you get the shade that you want. If you want a sage green, you also take aviary, but instead of adding brown, then you just add white till you get the shade that All you right, want. All right, wipe that back with your magic. My magic paper towel situation? Yeah. Okay. I might need another one. Let me go get yeah, you a that clean one, one. This one is not doing the work I'll that get it you should. A fresh paper towel. It has a lot of situation on it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I want to find more of these and put words all over them. I'm going to have to raid my stash. Oops. Careful, the glue's not quite dry on that one. So, may have pulled up your end. What? Put a little glue under that. I was being so delicate. The people of YouTube can tell you. Here, we'll just white wax back over it. Where did the okay. brush go? A deep teal. Um, start with bohemian blue, and then add whatever green tone you want till you get to the right teal. Or bohemian blue and mermaid tail would make a bomb teal. Sonia says, great color info, weathered wood and prairie gray are on her list. Yeah, I like weathered wood a lot in the fall, but you're going to see a lot of prairie gray coming out in the spring. To me, it's a lot like apothecary and farm fresh. They're siblings, but farm fresh is more of a fall um, greenish color for me. And then I really bust out the apothecary in the spring. I mean, I really love apothecary. So our weathered wood on our stairs looks almost blue with the white wax and some lights. Yeah. 
All right, look at that. That we will definitely pull back more of the white wax once. Yeah, it's all we got to let dry. it dry a little bit longer. But turned out amazing. So if you guys have not checked out the website, head over to jamierayvintage.com and get the new IOD molds. Well, you can definitely pick up some sort of paint and a contrasting wax, and I guarantee you're going to have a lot of fun creating stuff. Um, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Thanks for joining us for Waste Not Wet. Find a little basket and make it say herbs. Herbs. And love and junk with a heart. Because we love the junk. All right, bye guys.